guys, welcome back to a new video on the SC Bass Fishing Channel. Today, I don't think there's going to be any fishing. There's a ton of snow. So, I got something that I ordered a couple days for you guys, and we're going to unbox it. Here we go. That's something I was talking about. It was a mystery tackle box. So I'm going to be unboxing this for you guys. Let me pop her open. I haven't opened her yet. There's still the tape on there. So, let's open up and see what baits we got. Just cut the tape. Let's open it up. Right here we have the catch and win right here. This is where you can uh, share your catches, take a picture of them on this uh, ruler right here, and share them on Instagram or wherever they are. And you might get picked for a prize or something like that. So now guys, we're going to move on to things that are in this box right now. Number one, we have this Bass Dibble Tips and Tricks from Mystery Tackle Box. This is Carl Van Dibble. I don't know his real name and all that. So he makes that. We have what is in here, which is... We're going to do that in a second. Start off, we have this Catchco sticker right here. It is a bass playing a bass, if you get it. If you look up bass on Google, sometimes guitars come up. So it's like a bass playing a bass. That's pretty funny. I like that. Number two, we have this Bubonic Bugs Squirrel Crankbait by Chris Grout and Ketchco. It is one half ounce. So I'm going to take this out for you guys and show you it close up. Here it is right here. The hooks are very sticky on my hand. These will catch some bass for me. I can't wait to throw this and do the slam challenge for this specific mystery tackle box. I don't know what this is supposed to represent, but it is really cool. And it's like the yellow and black pad right there looks like big scales on a fish right there. So moving on to bait number two. We have some shaky head hooks slash weights. Now, they usually pair a worm or something up with these. So let's bring out the worm that pair up with these shaky heads. I'm guessing it's these right here. Carl's amazing bait. Just looks like your average normal worm that you can throw out on a shaky head. So I'm going to rig this up and show you guys what it looks like on the shaky head. There it is guys, rigged up on the shaky head. Obviously my rigging skills are not the best because I never usually use shaky heads. But I know that the tail and the water will float. And then you can just take this off the bottom and this tail will just float up in the air. Resembling a pretty nice profile. Bait number four. Alright, we have some big bite baits, swimming craws, and green pumpkin with a quantity of six. I'm going to take this out for you guys and show you guys what they look like. Here it is right here. Obviously, it just looks like a normal green pumpkin craw. And I think they paired something up with these, too. So, I'm going to set this down. And we're going to grab the last thing in this box. We have some Mustad Offset Worm Hooks in 4 uh, We have two hooks in here. And I'm going to rig th these Mustad hooks up with this craw right here. Because they obviously match up. And show you guys what that looks like. Here this guy is all rigged up and obviously is not rigged up right because yeah um just rigged it up really fast but anyway imagine this on a texas rig hopping it off the bottom looks just like a crack and crawl but a little bit different definitely different texture and all that different kind of plastic so i will give you guys an overview of all the baits we got today in our carl's amazing baits and carl's mystery tackle box by the catch co and show you guys a recap. Alright, we have our Mustad hooks, Big Bite baits, we have our Bubonic Bugs uh, crankbait, we have our sticker, the little booklet, Carl's Maze and Baits, looks like a shaky headworm, shaky heads, and that will be it. I cannot wait to do a slam with all these baits right here, and it's going to be coming up sometime in the spring, or early spring probably and summer so yeah i'll be putting all these baits in my plano kvd tackle box which is empty right now because of all my lures that are in all those boxes right there thank you guys for watching today's video be sure to leave a like subscribe if you want to and today i would like to tell you guys about today's video's sponsor absolutely no one well anyway that was a joke see you guys next time bye bye